Alpha Tech Cave. No dinos. Solo. We don't have gliders. So can it be done? Normally you'd want a glider. But all I got is parachutes. It's gonna be interesting. Um, if you notice, I have a severe lack of color on my gear. It's because I've already tried this once and died. <laughs> uh, I had to farm the broodmother a little bit to get all my stuff, or enough element back. And, um, yeah, it's, it's rough. That's okay. Let's, uh, drink some of this stuff. Make us feel better. Okay, here's how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drink a healing brew or two. I'm watching my health. My health is not moving. There it goes. Get some food in us. Okay, so... Can't use tech armor in here. We have some with us that we're gonna use in the Overseer battle. We have some fur armor. I'm not sure if this is going to help us. Tech boots are a must. Wear them. But you can't use the jetpack. We have um, a thousand shotgun shells. Hopefully it's enough. I have two shotguns. We're sh uh, let's get out of this. One in my inventory. I have three. 422%. I shouldn't need that one, but you never know. And what we got here? 634% and 622%. Uh, I got 24 grapples. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Can it be done? I'm pretty sure it can. I just, I've been struggling with a certain part, and I'll show you. So to start, you want to get on here, get some momentum, and jump and hit the parachute. And don't... Ugh, that's not what we wanted. Okay, we can slow down a little bit. It's a little too fast. We're going to have to turn here. Whoa! That was... That was great. Uh, this isn't what we wanted. This is not what we wanted. But we're gonna be okay. God, the, the ropes on this freaking parachute look so terrible. Whew. All right, so you don't have to do this by yourself. You can bring dinos and shit, but you know, if you don't want to, then this is an option. Go ahead and drop down. About yay, drop, pull your parachute again, start going down the tunnel, and right when you hit this tunnel is when you are able to start grappling. I don't know if... Shit! Six seconds. We gotta get up. Okay. Whew, that was close. I don't know if there's any other areas in here that you can grapple. But here is a must. This is what you gotta do. Get up here. This is where you wanna be. Let's recoup. Ah, we wanted the riot gear because we're gonna get hit. Um, we uh, That's not ideal right there. 50% of our armor getting damaged for our boots. Um, but we shouldn't, we should only need to use the boots one more time. This is the part that is the, um, part I feel that. So, if you've done the Tech K before, there's this run of lava here. There's like a waterfall here, and then there's another one down there. And the problem that we have is all these dinos all along this path runs this way, um, they, the ceiling's low, essentially, and without a glide suit, the only way to do this is to get lucky with your parachute, essentially, which is what we're going to hope for. The Perlovia, Caprasuchus, and Arthropleura are the three things that are going to give us our, the most trouble. Trying to get down there. I think that's an Arthropleur right there. I can't seem to hit it. But they they spit, and if they're high enough level, that spit will one-shot you in here. Yeah, there we go. I just wanted to move. Because I'm gonna land over there. 
essentially. Unless I hit one of these guys dangling from the ceiling and then, then it's game over and we're gonna lose. Alright, so I'm gonna get the grapple out just in case. But you only really get one shot at this. Just wanna run off and then hit the parachute. And we made it through. Okay. Good, good, good. Alright, so you want to aim for this little outcrop here. It'll give you a boost. Hopefully nothing jumps up and gets us. Just drop down. Do that. I think we're going to be good, guys. The only problem we're going to have is things that follow us into this cave over here. We hit that we hit that a little too late. But we're gonna make it. Oh, there we go. So let's do a little K orbital view. Those everything following us right there. Uh if it comes down into here, I wanna say some of it can get through the the screen. Can't remember if they can run through this or not. Ooh, don't want to turn back. But here's where we're going to want to put our, um, whatchamacallit, our, uh, fur on. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and do that. Get, uh, that on. Let's get some fur on. Pants. We're good to go. Hopefully nothing follows us. Okay, let's go. Whew! Just gotta get right up here. Ideally, oh, I can drink some water. Ideally, I think it's the fist. Which one makes you run fast? Is it the fist? I didn't bring any damn tech gloves. So, the next part is gonna be difficult because if we get hit. If you never fought the Overseer before, the Overseer will turn into three different bosses. It's going to turn into, you know, the Broodmother, the Dragon, and the Megapithecus. Uh, periodically throughout the fight. The only danger, the only real danger that we have is when it turns into the Megapithecus. Because it'll throw the rocks, and if the rocks hit you, it's, you're done. It's over. One shot, you're done. So, we'll see if we can do it. I'm not going to be trying this again if I fail, because of the amount of resources it took to refarm all this crap. I would much rather just bring in the train of Therizinos and do this slowly. But you can, uh, I'm going to go through the hall up top, I don't know, the hall of whatever the hell it's called. Um, we're going to go through that um, just to kind of show people that haven't seen it before. I have timestamps in the description if you want to hop ahead to the Overseer battle. During the Overseer battle, I'm going to skip around a bit because this is going to be a very slow fight. Probably going to take me an hour or more. But, yeah, here we are. So here's all the arenas. Come over here and you can see the Broodmother Arena. And essentially, the Overseer is watching. He's a little cuck watching, watching you fight everything. I don't remember it looking digital, though. I think it was, like, the actual arena. So it's kind of interesting that it's that it looks like this. Hmm. I remember it being, like, an overhead view of the arena or something. Coming down here. This is kind of like a timeline of everything, right? Uh, a little explorer notes. I can't remember what this one shows. I can't interact with it. But you see, like, Earth when it was happy, and then Earth when it was sad. <laughs> Later on. But the, uh... I anticipate this fight being slow. We have the drones that are going to attack us. I don't think they do any damage, but they can't... I think they damage our armor. Um, there is a little perch we can land on to kind of uh, 
re-equip new armor as we get lower. We don't want the um, jetpack to fail while we're in there. But here's, you know, humans. This is a survivor. Earth looking shitty. I have a good way of explaining things, don't I? Yeah, I'm going to be skipping around in the in the boss fight. Um, there's going to be some, like the dragon. When you when I when you, the dragon comes out, it's he can't even hit you. So it, I'll just you know <laughs> fast forward it. Oh, here's Earth when it's really screwed up. <laughs> I think that's like extinction timeline. And then what's over here? More of this. I think that other thing with the survivor shows the home of Deus. Uh, yep. Cool stuff. I really like the story of Ark. Uh, here's where all the drops come down. Land on the island below. Can't really... Can't really get a good view. See if we can. Oh, here we go. We can look down through here. So as you can see, there's the volcano there, the Arctic area up there. Uh, our base is down yonder. And whoa! Wait a minute. Are they using the old model? Are those the old ones? Those are the old ones, aren't they? I'm pretty sure those are the old ones. Yeah, those has got to be the... I think so. I'm going to have to compare that. Alright, here's the arena. Got our shotguns. Ready to go. As soon as you come in... You get... If we have dinos, you're going to want to get them all up here in this little staging area. It's like as soon as you go down the stairs is when it... Happens. As you can see, you got like this little hologram showing the island. The three obelisks there. I don't know what the hell the data points are that he's pointing to. Maybe the artifact locations. I haven't really looked at it before. But as you run down, you get the music. And your goal is to just get up top. If you do this the way I'm doing it. This little nub here is where you can rest. You know, re-equip armor and whatnot. Save element. We'll probably uh, stay up here when we fight the dragon and the broodmother. But this first phase is a shield. He's just spawning these sentry drones. You're gonna see what are these defenders or enforcers or whatever. And then you're going to see the actual drones come out, the flying drones. And those will uh, harass the shit out of us. Once this, uh, so here's one of the drones here. I don't think you need to kill these. Like, I don't think they kill you. And we might not. Because all the time we spend shooting these is time we can be shooting the Overseer. Which is over here now. That is not a lot of damage per shot, so this is going to be painful. We can't do the charge attack, or we zip around real fast because we don't have the gloves. That's fine. Man, even with a 600% shotgun. I see the bar moving, though. This is going to be too bad, I guess. It can be a pain in the ass when you're doing this with Rexes, because um, they aren't like lightning fast or nothing. Okay, shield's back up. So he's spawning more stuff. We got drones up top here. Come on, dude. What the hell? He's down. Bad, buddy. Well, I'll uh, keep this going until the first... Um when he transforms into the first boss. It's random. Some, it, It's not always the Broodmother first. I've uh, seen it where he turns, you know, Dragon or, or Megapithecus first. Actually, it might, it might be the Dragon first. I may be speaking out of my ass right now. 
I want to say the last time I did this fight, he turned into the dragon first. I just don't remember if that's the norm. My shield's going. Watch your health. Always keep an eye on your health. Okay. Where is it? Megapithecus is what we don't want. Yeah, as soon as as soon as we finish this first batch, and he transforms and, and whatever, I'm, I'm and I start skipping through. I'll probably stop talking, and then uh, just cut here and there, kind of show the fight as it progresses. This is it. Stay up top. Don't get too low, especially when the dragon's out, because the dragon can't hurt you when you're up top. Uh, but he can hurt you if you get a little too low, and he'll hit you with the uh, fire breath, and that can. Mess you up pretty good, so. Hold shift, by the way. I've been tapping spacebar this whole time. If you hold shift, you just hover. Don't be me. Where are those drones at? When the laser hits you, all it does is make it so that you can't fire your shotgun. in my fun. Come on, die, dude. Alright. I'm hoping this works. If I can get pack past the Megapithecus portions, I'll, I'll be fine. We're almost down at 100 shells. And obviously, he's got more than 10% of his health gone, so I think we're going to be okay. I'm more worried about the... Uh, Durability of the shotguns and running out of shotgun shells. Damn it. Where'd you go? 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 <laughs> now that time remaining doesn't matter. At least in ASE it did not matter. When it runs out, it, it was it was what it oh, I've got the monkey first. Shit. Okay, when he starts throwing rocks. You want to do the double tap. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to do this whole fight with the double tap going. Because uh, the rock he throws goes kind of like where he plans on you being at. Oh, God. I'm like, I don't want to get hit by this rock. Maybe if I just stay way up top. Oh, shit. What happened? I was falling down. That was scary. Maybe if I stay up as high as possible, he won't throw rocks at me. Please don't throw a rock at me. Please don't throw a rock at me. Right, here we are after the monkey. I just checking the uh, armor, and I think we're good. I haven't been really been taking any damage to my armor at all. Just landed on this ledge. The monkey's down. I am. I'm doing all right so far. Okay, so the drones can make you stop flying. They don't really do any damage to you. Almost down to 50% health. What are we going to get next? I see the brood mother. We're going to get a brood mother. What are we going to get? Dragon. Problem. Well, this one's easy. He can't reach you. He doesn't fly. So we just stay above it and fire away. Alright, we're getting down towards the last bit of health on the dragon. I re upped all my soups. I'm good on element. 
good on armor. I'm down to 606 shot shotgun shells. And he's about 50% health, so I think we'll be able to pull it off. All right, Overseer's transforming into something else. Right by me, Broodmother. I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of curious if the Broodmother's gonna shoot her web. Ooh, 218 damage, each pellet. Oh, shit. I wonder if the webs can hit me. I'm pretty sure she like, sprays webs out, right? The rocks weren't hitting me. Let's get away from the ledge, though. All right, come on, Broodmother. You're going down. Anyway, I'm curious about the mechanics. Um, I haven't done this enough to know, but if anyone knows, let me know. The uh, Overseer, when it transforms it in, into the, like all the different bosses, is it a, a certain percentages of his health, I'm guessing, is when it triggers. Is it always four or whatever? Because we did, we've had three, and then I'm pretty sure with the amount of health he has left, we're going to get one more boss that we have to kill. Fairly certain. Yeah, see, I, I, I got knocked out of the sky there. Let's get rid of these. As the uh, Overseer gets more damaged, each cycle, you start getting more and more lasers frequently, and he moves faster. Yep, so we're getting another boss, and it's the dragon, okay. We should be good on shotgun shells, but we'll see. This is just gonna take a minute. <laughs> Maybe this is the last bit. That was four total bosses. We're down to 285 shotgun shells. Hopefully this last bit is all we need. Spawning all sorts of drones because he just doesn't like us. Which is fine. I don't want to be his friend anyway. But we're going to get constant lasers now, I think. This is what ChatGPT is going to turn into, y'all. The Overseer. Yeah, you're not hitting anything. Come on, y'all. Get off me. And boom. Oh, I missed you. Little... Alright. What the fuck? Where is he at? Aw, oh, man! We got another boss! It's the damn monkey. That's five. Five bosses, y'all. The health is, like, really low. What's up with that? Get the hell away from me. But yeah, if you're new to the series, this is, like, your first time watching uh, any of this. Feel free to check out the whole thing. It's been a, it's been a hell of a trip. If not, and if you're a returning viewer, then... I'll talk a little bit about what's to come after we get out of here. I am like all up in the freaking <laughs> rafters right now. Yeah! Okay, let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. Down to 234 shotgun shells. I'm surprised. That's weird that he has such low health compared to um, what's happened before. And the reason why I'm so high up is because I don't want to get hit by a boulder. All right, this should this should do it. Let's get a little lower. We took some damage from something. Can't use the healing bruise, though. 
because I'm flying. So if you need to use healing brews, you need to land your ass on that stump I showed you. Now let's take this dude down. There's that little stump right there. Be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I think this has been an extremely cheesy and overpowered way to do this, to be honest. I think it's harder to use the dinos. Think about all the stress you gotta you gotta deal with. Going through the tech cave. The pathing, it's horrible. Doing this is way easier. And if you have friends, it's like even easier. Like, imagine like four people blasting this thing. Really? We're gonna do one more? What are we doing? Is that the broodmother? I heard. Where's that? Yeah. Alright, no, no problem. This last couple here. Take this sucker out. My health went down a bit. I'm kinda... Maybe the drones start doing more damage uh, the later in, in the fight it goes. Let me, uh... Go ahead and, uh, shove some more food in my gullet. Pork all that down. Take this sucker out. We're down to 178 shotgun shells. And for those of you who are thinking, oh, you got a stack mod, you can't hold that many shotgun shells. Bullshit. You absolutely can. I tested it. Do it. Bam. Alright, I'm not gonna say anything till the end. See you guys in a bit. Enjoy. survivor. You've accomplished what few have. You've ascended. I once did too, when I was her. Helena. She was an explorer too. And like you, she traveled the arts and discovered their secrets. You're following in her footsteps. 
keep going. Discover what became of Helena and her friends. Survive the many challenges ahead, and you'll find me here waiting for you. Together, we may yet be able to save our world. We don't need to be looking at the credits. We know who built this game. Click on the, uh, oh yeah, it's got my old name on there. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for the series, y'all. Uh, I think I'm going to be naked, aren't I? What? I was supposed to spawn on the bed. Yeah, don't, don't forget, you lose all your gear once you're done. You got a sweet implant now. That's that's awesome. Alpha Ascension. Looks cool. Now we get to delete it. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I'm gonna be I'm not gonna do another full let's play start to finish series until Scorched Earth is out. Uh, between now and then, uh, I'll be making the series that I discussed earlier on in the series. Uh, about the kind of underdog fights using, like, not, like, uncondition unconventional boss fights, we'll call them. So I'll be working on that. Um, maybe a couple other things, we'll see. But full a full start, start to finish uh, series um, is not going to happen again until Scorched Earth. I might do one for the center, we'll see. I don't see any reason not to, but... You know, honestly, I might, because I've never really played the center. Yeah, that's going to do it for this. Um, I appreciate everyone who's joined me from the beginning of this. This has been a great adventure. And I'll see you guys soon on the new series. Thanks for watching.